What's up guys, Nick here from Future GDS. Maybe from the title of this video, you guys know my DAT score already, but for those of you who don't know, welcome to my super, super detailed DAT breakdown. So it's been about two months since the day I took the exam. I was celebrating like almost every day. I also wanted to give it some time before I did my breakdown, just so I could provide you all with some thoughtful advice. Uh, before I dive in, you guys may be wondering what was the point of all those weekly update videos. And frankly, I was wondering the same thing. But I want you guys to just see how someone feels as you get closer to the test date. I think it's normal to lose morale and it's normal to switch up your studying habits as I did. Initially, I thought I was going to follow this strict routine for 60 days, but it's just not possible. I don't think anyone ever showed that side of studying for the DAT. So I just wanted to be the one to do that for you all. So I got a 27 academic average and a 30 total science. And I'll list the individual sections now. I got a 30 in biology, a 30 in general chemistry, a 26 in organic chemistry, a 23 on the PAT, a 21 in reading, and a 30 in quantitative reasoning. So I can't really complain about those scores. Um, I did pretty well but there's always room for improvement and I'm no exception to that. I felt a little robbed um, with the reading comprehension section, especially because it felt like too easy while doing it. But again, I should just be grateful for the overall score. So I'm sure some of you would like to know how my practice score is compared to my actual score. My real score was about two points higher than my average uh, DAT bootcamp scores and about three to four points higher than my uh, DAT booster scores. And for those of you who didn't see any of my previous videos in my DAT journey series, I'll just give a quick background about myself. So I was a student at a community college in the Bay Area, and I completed all of my basic prerequisite courses there. I had been studying for the DAT for about a year uh, before I started the rigorous nine week schedule because one, I knew how important the exam would be in my application, and two, uh, we were in the COVID era and there was nothing else to do, so why not be productive, right? Uh, the resources I used during that one-year period were the AP Bio Cliff Notes, Chad's videos, DAT Destroyer, and the DAT Bootcamp Biology Academy. And I would study on average like 30 minutes a day, but of course I wouldn't study every day, and some days I would study like three hours. So it was varied. Um, also a big tip I would give is to complete DAT Bootcamp's daily warm up. Uh, this is whether or not you've begun to study for the DAT because these it's only like five questions and they only take two minutes. But let's say if you do it for just a year, you're getting over a thousand practice problems. So imagine how much you've already prepared by expending like very little effort. And I think that allowed me to kind of understand the level of difficulty for the exam and just mentally prepare. Anyway, once the nine week period began, I started using DAT Bootcamp's program and a couple weeks down the road, I got DAT Booster and Math Destroyer just for some extra practice tests. I would study anywhere from three to six hours a day and nothing more than that though, because my brain would be so tired that it would just be a waste of time to continue. And I think a lot of people may expect me to say that this time goes by super quickly and it's a piece of cake. It's not, okay? These nine weeks were the toughest weeks of my life, but I think in order to do well, you need to push yourself and make some sacrifices. So I wanna talk about each individual section now, but before I do that, I just want to acknowledge that these are my personal opinions based on my experiences, and I'd recommend taking them with a grain of salt. Uh, the DAT is a really random exam and it's so easy to go up or down a couple of points just because of a couple of questions. So my DAT score could have ranged anywhere from like a 24 to a 28. So I'll admit that there's definitely luck involved in that in the, the questions I was given just happened to be the ones that I knew the answer to. And also I had a huge advantage in that I didn't need to work while studying. So I was able to dedicate my life essentially to this exam. And I realized that people aren't as fortunate in that case. So everyone's coming from a different background. So just don't compare yourself with others. Um, I made the mistake where I would check Student Doctor Network or Reddit for DAT breakdowns. And even though the people um, 
didn't necessarily have the intention to make others feel bad. It just puts a lot of pressure on you. And when you see these, you know, amazing scores. So don't look at all the DAT breakdowns uh, you find because you'll just feel overwhelmed. So we can start with the biology section. I had been told this is the most random section in the entire DAT. And for some reason, I was just motivated to from like the beginning to conquer it. Um, I'm a biology major, but I hadn't taken anything besides the basic lower division bio courses. So I was learning a lot of new information as well. Uh, I basically spent a total of 100 hours before even starting the nine week uh, schedule. And I was just studying biology, really. Um, is that necessary? I don't think so, but it can't hurt if you have the time you know, to do it. Uh, I think the only resources you need for that section are the Ferrales notes, uh, the DAT Bootcamp BioBytes, and the DAT Bootcamp uh, Bio Academy. Um, and additionally, I just would 100% recommend DAT Booster just for their biology practice test because I had like 15 questions from DAT Booster on my exam. And I know for a fact, I wouldn't have gotten a 30 without them. And biology is the most time consuming subject. So, uh, and it's like the most tiring to study for. So I think if you uh, learn the, if you learn most of it before you even begin that nine week you know, or 10 weeks of studying, then you'll be in a stronger position. So now with the chemistries, I primarily relied on Dr. Mike's videos from uh, DAT Bootcamp for the content review and it was perfect. Uh, everything was explained so intuitively and concisely, that's what's important. For practice, DAT Bootcamp's question banks and practice tests, those were just excellent. Um, they were way harder than the real DAT and I really appreciate that Bootcamp uh, you know, prepared me so well. In general, the general chemistry and organic chemistry, along with quantitative reasoning, are the most predictable sections, and they're very easy to study for, I'd say. So I would highly recommend spending more time studying in these sections because the amount of work you put in is going to be proportional to the score you get. And in general, I follow the schedule, you know, with regards to the amount of practice problems I did. And then afterwards, I would go back to the questions I got wrong and then try to understand why I got it wrong. Uh, in the beginning, it was pretty short, but as time went on and the number of incorrect questions would accumulate, then it became long. But I would still recommend that method. Um, the reason is because you think you would know everything after seeing the answer. But if you actually test yourself again and do the same set of questions over, you'll be surprised at how easy it is to forget things. So now we're at the favorite part, uh, the PAT. So no, just kidding. I never liked the PAT and you guys who watched my update videos already know that. Um, I'm pretty satisfied with the 23, didn't really expect more. I would say that you should be strategic with the PAT as well. I didn't focus on angle ranking because I truly despised it. And I thought it would be better to spend time nailing the other sections like top front end, cube counting, hole punching, and even pattern folding. Keyholes and angle ranking are the more random sections for me. Um, in the beginning, I would spend a lot of time studying for it, maybe like 15 minutes per individual section. But then I started getting frustrated, so I just put it to the side until like four weeks before the exam. I don't have many tips on this section. Um, I didn't do like too crazy on it, so I can't really give advice on how to get a high score. Uh, and that's a big tip I would give you guys. If someone didn't get a high score themselves in a section, then I wouldn't recommend listening to them on how to get a high score. Because I would, however, though, um, recommend listening to them on how to avoid getting a low score. So that may sound a little paradoxical, but you may just consider it. And also DAT Booster and DAT Bootcamp, they did a pretty good job representing the real PAT. So now we can move on to the reading section. Uh, that was my lowest score. Again, I don't have many tips here either. You know, honestly, I would say DAT Booster represents the reading section a little bit better than DAT Bootcamp. Um, I didn't study much in this section either. Like I wasn't reading a science, scientific article every day because I thought I would just magically do well in this section. 
foolish of me. Um, I even had eight minutes left on my like real test doing that section, but I just moved on and that was a big mistake. Um, so if you want a tip on how to not get a low score like I did, I would recommend reading those science articles and trying your best on the practice test. Um, and finally, we have quantitative reasoning. I think boot camp was the most representative of this section. Booster was a little too difficult and Math Destroyer seemed too simple. It's pretty straightforward, I would say. Like there's no hidden concepts in that section. Just quantitative reasoning consists of algebra, which sounds super easy, but you need to make sure you've mastered algebra. Like I wouldn't recommend memorizing examples because you can basically get an infinite variety of problems. So if you guys want an even more detailed description on how I studied for each section, like the number of problems or the time I would spend or order I would even study for the sections, then I'd recommend you check out my weekly update videos. Uh, the reason I can't really explain here is because my studying habits would change every week. And I found what would work best for me and tweaked my routine to become more efficient. And so, yeah, that's going to be it for my DAT breakdown. I just want to say a huge thank you uh to the people who watch you know all or like even any of my videos in this series and i hope you guys got something out of it uh with that being said hit the like and subscribe button and if you have any additional questions for me please feel free to message me on instagram at uh underscore future dds i'll try to respond as soon as possible and i'll see you guys in the next project take care y'all